And Thomas, you've been doing this for a long time, but we have seen some pretty unusual trading activity, I'd say over the last two years, really, um, a market that brought in a lot of new retail traders. How, how are they doing with the downturn that we've seen for the month of January? Well, the month of January <clears throat> was not the best time for our customers. <clears throat> Basically, they are down 10% for the month. But uh, you see that the very largest holding of Interactive Brokers customers is Tesla. Hmm. And uh, they have such huge gains in that stock that they do not want to sell it. So it was very interesting uh, to hear this uh, anti-ARC fund because uh, that you just had on, because many of the customers buy that fund in order to hedge their Tesla position, but they are committed to Tesla on the very, very long term. They, they talk about owning this stock for the next 10 years because they say that Elon Musk is able to get in, get the, 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 mo the brightest young engineers and they are going in. They don't just look at it as a car stock. They think that they are going to develop all kinds of other technologies such as robots and, and other things. So uh, other than Tesla, the, the largest holdings are NVIDIA, Amazon, and many of these uh, so-called new tech stocks. Uh, now, some relief came from uh, the fact that quite a few of our customers have been long conventional energy sector. And those positions have generated respectable returns. Now, also, many interactive brokers customers who did well during this difficult period were the ones who focused in on company-specific events and used vertical option spreads to stake out their positions within specific price limits. Yeah. Uh, it is just... Sorry. Well, I was just going to point out options trading. I think it was up 42 percent last year at Interactive Brokers. Um, what are they using the options for? Are they trading more frequently or are they just hedging their bets differently? I mean, you know, this, the, the option uh, volumes are just incredible. What most customers do and the reason why option volumes have increased so much is that from from they transferred from just playing the option market uh, with one contract at a time. They are now doing option spreads because they have learned that with, with vertical spreads, they can focus in on a different, a, a specific price region of, a, of the underlying stock. And, and uh, if, if they do some analysis on that underlying stock and, and see the price patterns, and, and they understand that they, they, they also do some fundamental analysis and they can decide whether to play that stock from the long side or the short side. With these uh, option vertical spreads, they can really stake out very specific positions and, and have a, a, a limited risk, also, 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 also limited profit potential. But, but uh, you know, this has been working out extremely well for more and more of our customers, and, and uh, they follow the strategy.